Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh again. Uh, today I want to explain the three forms of adjective. We have simple adjectives, we have present participle adjectives, and we have past participle adjectives. So now the simple adjectives are like, you know, which are not taken from verbs. Like short and tall and cheap and expensive and, you know, young and old and these new. Or, these are, you know, simple adjectives. But present participle adjectives when a verb takes ing and it functions as an adjective. It is called present participle adjective. And past participle adjective, the third form of a verb can be used as an adjective too. So let's uh, see, you know. Uh, how I can explain, I mean, the idea of using ing form of a verb as an adjective and the third form of a verb as an adjective. So these are simple adjectives. Uh, I mean, they have, I mean, degrees, comparative degree and superlative degree. In the future, inshallah, we will have uh, more lessons about the degrees of adjective. But present participle adjective, look, working. If you want to use this word, uh, as a verb, then you can use it in all six continuous tenses. He is working, he was working, he will be working, he has been working, he had been working, he will have been working. So, in these sentences, I mean, it shows the action of the subject. But if we say we have a working LCD in our classroom, we have a working fan. I have, for example, uh, you know, a working dictionary or something like that. Now, the question is that what kind of? When we use verb ing as an adjective, it usually answers the question what kind of. For example, what kind of place is uh, Switzerland? It is a fascinating place. What kind of business do you have? We have a running business. For example, what kind of dictionary do you have? I have a talking dictionary. See, the meaning of a present participle adjective is active. When we say this is a working LCD, it means this LCD works. But the meaning of a past participle adjective is passive. For example, you say that is a broken chair. It means someone has broken it. So, you know, uh, Past participle adjectives have a passive meaning and present participle adjectives have an active meaning. So now, if you use the third form of a verb in a perfect tense, in that case, it shows the action of the subject. For example, he has broken the chair. So broken here shows the action of the subject, he. Or he had broken the chair, or he will have broken the chair. Or if it's even a passive sentence, for example, the chair was broken by him or the chair has been broken by him, or the chair had been broken by him, or the chair was broken by him, in all 12 tenses, okay? But, <clears throat> now if it modifies a noun or pronoun in a sentence, it is used as a past participle adjective. For example, that is a broken chair. Now the question is, what kind of chair is that? Okay, that is a broken chair. So broken here modifies the noun chair, okay? And that is a broken chair, uh, it's a simple present tense, okay? Or for example, you say, I saw a broken chair yesterday, simple past tense, okay? I will repair that broken chair tomorrow, you know, future tense. But keep in mind that when verb ing shows the action of a subject, it is not used as an adjective, okay? It is used is a main verb and uh, in continuous tenses and it's there to show the action of the subject. But when it modifies a noun or pronoun in a sentence, then it is used as a present participle adjective. Uh, for example, uh, as I said before, you know, that is a running dog. Now the question is what kind of dog is that? That is a running dog. Or oh, for example, what are your working hours? Oh, for example, you said this is an interesting class. What kind of class? Interesting class. Oh, there is a fascinating place. What kind of place? Fascinating place. Okay, it means that place fascinates people. 
And the same thing over here, painted. He has painted the wall, he had painted the wall, he will have painted the wall. In these three sentences, the verb, I mean the, the past participle or third form of the verb, uh, shows the action of the subject. But if we say, uh, I like that painted wall. That painted wall looks very beautiful, okay? Okay, oh, that is a painted wall. So now the question is that what kind of wall is that? And that's a painted wall. So here it modifies or it tells us something about, uh, you know, the noun wall or it describes the noun wall. Therefore, it is, you know, past participle adjective. The same thing, cooked. Bring me some cooked rice. What kind of rice? Cooked rice. Okay, and written. Uh, you should take a written exam before you have an interview uh, uh, um, with, with, with the manager. Okay, so what kind of exam? Written exam, okay? Or for example, uh, if you use it as a main verb, then it shows the action of the subject. He has written a letter, present perfect tense. He had written a letter, past perfect tense. He will have written a letter future perfect tense. And you can use it, I mean, in all 12 tenses in passive form. Okay, a letter is written by him, a letter was written by him, a letter will be written by him, a letter is being written by him, a letter was being written by him, a letter will be being written by him, a letter has been written by him, a letter had been written by him, a letter will have been written by him. In even perfect continuous tense in spoken English, a letter has been being written by him, a letter had been being written by him, a letter will have been being written by him. See, in all these 12 tenses, okay, we use it as a verb, not as an adjective. When we use it as an adjective, it must be uh, describing a noun or pronoun uh, in a sentence. Like, as I, as, as I said before, you know, uh, we got to take a written exam, or they took a written exam. So what kind of exam or an exam? So I hope now you know the difference between, you know, how to use a uh, present participle or past participle uh, as a verb when it shows the action of the subject or as an adjective when it describes a noun or pronoun. I hope you enjoyed this short clip. Have a great time. Bye-bye.